Watch, take the rope, split it in half, and then magically restore it. Such an amazing optical illusion. Bend the laser beam just like that. Extinguish the candles that are- Flick it and the match penetrates through the safety pin. Feel the genetic memory of the honey. And you just get this flowing liquid fire, super cool. And sit it in the water, watch what happens. Whoa, it's opening! Press here? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like... <gasps> it just magically changes into form. Oh, that's cool. Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 10 DIY magic tricks that you can do at home. Yes, illusion. Everybody likes magic. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go. So watch, I have a match sitting on top of the safety pin right here. Watch, all I have to do is just flick it and it actually penetrates right through the safety pin just like that. Watch, it come back up too. Here's what you're gonna need to pull off this trick at home. So you're gonna need a safety pin and a wooden stick match. We're gonna start out by taking the wooden stick match and we're gonna lay it on the table and we're going to poke a hole through the match using the safety pin. Just like that. Your next step is to close up the safety pin and now you have your match on a little hinge like this. Next step in your process, take your scissors and you're gonna shave off one side of the match. Just like this so you expose the wood underneath. And you can kind of do that on the sides as well. Now your next Next step is to flip the match around and on the other end of it, that is the end without the match head, you're going to take a green marker or whatever color match head you have. You might have a red match head. In that case, you want to use a red marker. But I'm going to use this green marker and we're just going to lightly color the tip of the match. So now when held this way, it looks like the match head is here, but if you flip it over, the match head is here. So it's key because we're going to use the tension of the match on the safety pin to make it flip. So as you press on the back of the match like that with your finger and let it flick upward, that tension is gonna cause the match to spin so quickly that it looks like it just penetrates right through the safety pin. So grab a safety pin and a match and try out this easy trick at home. Check it out, this is my magic bottle of fire. I can actually just take the bottle and if I pour it into the glass, See the glass magically lights on fire. The secret to this one is super simple. All you need is a glass bottle and some rubbing alcohol. You wanna fill the glass bottle with rubbing alcohol just a little bit in the bottom, just like this. And then you wanna swish it around inside the bottle. And then light the top of the bottle just like this and a small flame will form right inside the top of the bottle. It's invisible to the naked eye. But when you go to pour the liquid out of the bottle, it will flame up into whatever you pour it. The flammable properties of the alcohol allow it to stay lit without it being visible. So you can take the bottle and that blue Blue flame is just barely in the end of it right there. And as the liquid alcohol pours through it, it catches on fire. And you just get this flowing liquid fire, it's super cool. Okay, check this out. I'm gonna take the leaf and sit it in the water. Watch what happens. <laughs> Look at that stuff. That's so cool. You're only gonna need a few things to set this up at home. You're gonna need some water, a dish to put it in. You can also fill up a sink or a bathtub to do this, or you can do it outside in a puddle. So you're just gonna fill the dish up with water and then you wanna take a little leaf. You can also use a piece of paper if you wanted to. And then the last thing you're going to need is a ballpoint pen. Your first step is to take the pen apart and remove the ink tube from the pen. Then you're gonna take some scissors and snip off the ink tube just like that. And now you're gonna take the top part set of the side. All you need is this little tube and we're gonna remove the ink from the tube and put it on this little leaf. And you wanna get it on the back part of the leaf just like this, and you wanna set it in the water. And as the ink spills off the back of the leaf, it will propel the leaf through the water and it creates this really cool effect. This happens because when the ink is coming off the back of the leaf, it displaces the water enough that it propels the leaf forward. The leaf will keep going for as long as it has room. Put it in like a bathtub or something like that, it will go for a lot longer than when it sits in a dish like this. Okay, this is the magic rope trick. So I have a little piece of rope here and we also have this little box. This is the magic rope box. So the rope slides through the middle of the box just like this, comes out the other side. Now watch, we can take the box and it will actually split the rope in half just like that. You can 
see it really is split in half. You can see the ends of the rope just there. Now watch, all we have to do is take the box, slide it back together, and the rope is magically restored. Check this out, you can hand this out to your audience for examination. The rope really is back together. Super cool magic trick that you can do as well. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. You can do this trick very easily. Pretty much a trick that everyone can do. So this works exactly like a zigzag pencil if you've seen our April Fools episode. As you shift the box over, it reveals hidden pieces of rope inside and at the same time hides the real piece of rope right here inside the box. The shift happens so quickly you just don't see it. So if you move it fast, it's like that, it looks like the rope splits in half and then magically restores. So you're actually seeing the hidden pieces of rope here that hide inside. Super easy to do it's totally self-working magic all you have to do is slide the box and then slide it back in place pick one up today at evaneratv.com we have them available now at the link in the description it comes with a little piece of rope the magic box and everything you need to perform the trick okay check this out i have an empty glass here watch the candles on the table if i just pour it looks like they magically go out and just like that all the candles magically extinguish from an empty glass the first thing you'll need to pull off this trick are two glasses the next thing you'll need is some baking soda, some white vinegar, some candles, and something to light the candles with. Your first step is to light up all the candles. Your next step is to add some baking soda to the cup. You want to do this before the trick starts. Once you have the baking soda in the cup, your next step is to add some of the white vinegar. Now you've all seen this reaction before. It's a classic chemical reaction. It'll foam up just like that. Now what it's actually creating is carbon dioxide gas, CO2. So we're going to leave the carbon dioxide gas in this cup, and then we're going to attempt to gently pour that carbon dioxide gas right into this other cup. You don't want to pour the liquid, you just want the gas. So you're just going to make the motion of pouring this and that CO2 is going to flow right into this other cup. Now, once you have the CO2 in the cup, you want to be careful not to disturb it too much. You can then take it and use it to extinguish the candles. Now look, as you pour it, it will automatically extinguish the candles that are in front of it. Okay, so I have a really cool trick to show you with this box of matches. Mm -hmm. See the signal in my hand there? Yes. Watch, all I have to do is just... <gasps> Incredible. Super easy DIY trick here. You can set this one up at home. All you need is a box of matches. You're going to take out the tray and set the matches aside. You're also going to need some monofilament, that's fishing line, and you'll also need some sewing needles. Your first step is to take the empty match tray and you're going to put it back in the match box to about right there. This is where we want it to end up open. And you're going to turn it over and you're going to use your needle to poke a hole through the match box and the match tray simultaneously. You're then going to take a piece of the monofilament fishing line and you're going to string it through the hole that you've made in the tray and the box and when it comes out the top you want to tie a knot in the end to anchor it but once you have the knot tied in the end you're just going to pull it flush on the inside of the tray just like this and then you can take the matches and load them back into the tray now when you close the tray it will pull the monofilament into the box through the tiny hole in the bottom. Now when you pull on the monofilament, the tray will automatically open just like that. So you want to cut a piece of the monofilament, you can run this up your sleeve, attach it to your belt loop, you just need to anchor it in some way. So it goes out the bottom of the matchbox, underneath my hand concealed like this. So now you can hold the matchbox on the edges and it looks like it just begins to magically open on its own. Just like that, all you have to do is pull on the fishing line and it will open up the matchbox. Okay, this is a really cool trick. It's something you can do at home. All you need is a bowl and some honey and some water. We're gonna take some honey and we're gonna put it in the bowl. And now we're going to take some cold water and pour it on top. Now, once you have the water in the bowl, you're kind of going to swish it around like this and let the water contact the surface of the honey. Kind of like panning for gold if you've ever done that. And what this is actually doing is revealing the genetic memory of the honey from when it was in a honeycomb. As you swirl the water, you can see the honeycomb shapes start to emerge from the honey. It's super cool. And just like that, you reveal the genetic memory of the honey. Okay, really cool trick to show you here. So I have some colored pencils on the table and I also have this little plastic piece of film here. So watch, we have some colored pencils going this way and some going this way, two different directions and all different colors. If we hold the piece of plastic like this, you can see the colored pencils going horizontally totally disappear and you can only see the pencils that are going vertically. 
But watch, if we turn the lens like this, suddenly the pencils going vertically disappear and the pencils going horizontal are completely visible. So what's happening here is the lens, depending on the angle that it's viewed from, allows different objects to be seen from different angles. The design of this little plastic sheet, it's actually called the Lubber Lens. All you have to do is move it from here to here and the work is completely done for you. You can also use it to make things disappear. It's like your fingers just disappearing. Here's another really cool thing you can do with the lens. It'll actually unfold the beam of a laser. So you can take a laser pointer and shine it through and it will actually unfold the beam. You can see it on the ceiling there. It turns it into like a crazy cool like laser scanner. You can actually turn the lens and it'll curve it where it's almost making a circle just like that. Do you have a dollar? Yes. May I have it please? Okay, check this out. I'm gonna take the bill and stuff it down into my hand like this. Okay. You see it going down in like that? Watch. I just take it like this and I kind of squeeze it. Hold out your hand underneath. Like right underneath it. Yeah, just like that. Now watch where I just squeeze. It looks like Changes. Oh, that's cool. That was amazing. Here's what you're gonna need to pull off this trick at home. You're going to need a dollar bill or whatever currency is available in your country. Then you're also going to need the equivalent in change. And the last thing you'll need is this right here. This is a magic thumb tip. We have these available in adults and kids sizes at evaneratv.com if you don't have one already. You're going to start out with the coins concealed in your left hand. And your next step is to conceal the thumb tip in that same hand. You're just gonna have your fist closed just like this. You then take the dollar bill and stuff it into the thumb tip. And it looks like you're just stuffing it into your fist. It's actually going right inside the thumb tip, just like that. Once you've stuffed it down inside the thumb tip, you're going to push the thumb tip out of the back of your hand. And your thumb is going to come around and just take the thumb tip just like that. You wanna keep the thumb tip pointed at your audience. You don't wanna show it to them like this. Obviously, they'll see it then. Then you can ditch the thumb tip with the dollar bill into your pocket. All the attention is here on this hand. You give it a rub and the dollar bill has magically transformed into coins. All right, so I actually have a really fun trick that I want to show you. Oh, okay, let's see Yeah, it. all right, take these deck of cards and I want you to cut them anywhere you'd like and then look at the card that you cut to. Okay. Show the camera. Yep. Ready? All right, I'm gonna put it back in the deck. Okay. okay. Remember the card? Yes. All right. Can you read? Okay. Press here? Yeah. <laughs> Turn. Yep. <laughs> hey! Yeah, that's good! <laughs> nice. That was good! Yeah, I clever, right? Yeah, how'd you Look at do that. that? I'll teach you how it's done right now. The first step is to write the word press on the back of your hand. Then the next step is to extend your finger, then write the word turn on the top of your finger. Then the next step is to simply turn your hand over and keep your finger extended. And then you're gonna write the word pull on the other side of your finger. The last step is to open your hand, and then you're going to write a name of a playing card on your palm. Now all you have to do is close your hand up, have them follow the directions, and reveal their card. You might be wondering how you get them to pick the card you wrote on your hand. Well, the secret is all in the cards. They're actually all the 10 of diamonds. Every Every card in the deck is the same card. This is called a one-way force deck, and we have these available at EvanEraTV.com. It's a super easy way to make someone pick a card you want them to pick. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone you think might like it as well. Head over to EvanEraTV.com and pick up our new magic zigzag ropes. The link for that is in the description down below. You can also get magic thumb tips there as well and a lot of other cool merch. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video to you. All you have to do to be eligible to win the giveaway is leave a comment in the comment section down below and give the video a thumbs up. Leave as many comments as you want on the video. In fact, the more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning because I'll be going through the comment section and picking random comments, mailing out the magic to you so that you can perform these tricks at home. So leave your comments in the comment section down below. Today's keyword is DIY. Time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Please send us an email with your full mailing address to this email address on the screen right here in order to claim your prize. Congratulations to everyone who won and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. If you missed our last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right over there. The shop is right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and be sure to tap the notification bell so you see all of our videos. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.